Welcome to my shop. My name is Guy and today I'm starting a new project which is a floating demi loon table with a sunburst top. In this video I'm going to show you how I made this round apron through a process called bricking. I'm going to veneer the front of it with walnut and make this cool tiger maple molding along the bottom. Let's get started. Now this is the pattern I'm going to use to form the actual apron that goes underneath the piece. All these little guys here, there's uh, quite a few of them. I think there's 40 of them. I'm not going to need that many. But these are bricks and I'm going to set these on here and start gluing them on in layers and then building up till I get the thickness I want which is a little over three inches, a little under three inches, somewhere around there. So the first thing I need to do though, I need to take one of these and put it on here and screw it in from underneath to start the whole process. Now with all these poplar bricks in place, I'm going to go over to the bandsaw and just cut about a sixteenth of an inch outside this form. With the excess material taken off at the bandsaw, I'm over here at the router table and I've got a pattern routing bit. I'm going to use the bottom bearing. I'm going to use that against the edge of the form and I'm just going to remove all the excess until it's perfectly round. I've got the excess cut away and I flip the piece over and I've actually lowered this pattern bit. Now this pattern bit has a, a bearing on the bottom and the top. This time I'm going to use the one on the top. I'm going to have that ride against the edge that I've already done and just go all the way around. Well there's the second layer done. I'm just going to add two more layers to this to give myself about three inches. the inside of this sanded smooth, I need to cut some veneer for the front of this. Now I've got this piece of walnut which is mostly straight grain. I've measured around here, it's about 40 inches. This is about 43 inches and what I want to do is I'm going to go over the bandsaw, I'm going to resaw off a, a, a slice of this that's a little bit better than a sixteenth of an inch, let's say 330 seconds. And then I'll run it through the drum sander to get it to final thickness. I'm ready to glue the veneer to the face of this and I've got the veneer, I've also got a call, 
I've got some calls here. I've got my glue ready and I'm using a urea resin glue. I've made some marks so I can put everything in the place I want it. And uh, I just need to get some glue on this piece and then we're ready to go. I've got all the clamps on here and I appear to have a good bond all the way along the bottom and it's flat on the bottom and also squeeze out all the way along the top so I need to let this sit for 24 hours well the apron's out of the clamps and I did clean off the top and bottom of it and I've re-secured it back to the form I'm going to take this over to the bandsaw and use this as a straight edge and I'm going to cut this to length. I've cut a piece of poplar to fit between the two ends here and I've got it clamped in place. I've got these two little glue blocks and those are going to get glued in the corners and the back will eventually get screwed into these. But before I do that, I've got to take off one of the corners because of the rounded apron so that fits in there nice. So I've got this maple board here, and this is tiger maple. It's about 50 inches long and about 2 inches thick. And I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but it is really super highly figured along this edge. Uh, I've got one flat face and a perpendicular jointed edge to that. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off about 3 inches of this along the entire section of the board. So I've got this piece glued up and eventually what this is going to be is a piece that goes on the bottom of the apron. I've done this before using an applied molding. I decided to try it this time. It's really not using up that much wood. So I'm going to let this dry and then I need to cut it to the correct dimensions. Well, I've got this bottom piece all cleaned up and attached to a backer board. I've got my circle jig all set up. I need to cut the outside diameter. That's going to be a quarter inch wider than the uh, apron itself. So the first pass I'm going to do a climb cut, go about a sixteenth of an inch deep, and then the second cut I'll cut all the rest of the way through. I'm over here at the router and I've got the router table set up with a quarter inch beading bit and it's set up high enough just to take off both edges at once. I can't just use the ball bearing on this even with the round over bit because there won't be enough left on the top of it when I go back to do it. So I've created this template. All I do is take my circle jig, move the bit back a quarter inch which was the thickness of the bit now I have a perfect radius there. So I'm just going to start this up and feed it through very slowly and make sure it stays against these.
Well, there's the completed bead. It came out really nice. Uh, just a little bit of sanding will take care of any rough spots there might be on here. Well, I'm back at my jig here. I've got the uh, router set up to cut about an inch and an eighth from this edge. Now, give me plenty of room to move it around a little bit as I see fit. But I just need to get rid of all this excess on the inside. I'm going to do it the same way I did before. Do a sixteenth inch climb cut and then go back and cut the rest of it out. I've attached this bottom molding piece from the jig and this is about how it's going to sit. Looks pretty good I think. I put a bunch of clamps on here. I really want to make sure I got a really good joint right here at the bottom. And I do. There's a little bit of squeeze out going around it, but the high glue that'll just come off with some water later. I'm just going to let this sit overnight, and then tomorrow the apron should be complete. Well, I've taken the piece out of the clamps, cleaned everything all up, and it really came out nice. I'm very happy with it. Next up is the top.